Yeah. Good day. So I'm back again with a new video for you guys. And I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is about Oman. So um, my name is Dr. Chidibere. You may not have seen me before. I live and work in Oman. And today I'm going to be sharing things that you did not know about Oman. And number six is that it is easier to buy a car than to get a driving license in Oman. <laughs> I mean, this is the harsh truth, you know. Um, before I came into Oman, I already knew that. I was told. And so what I did was to get a driving license from Saudi Arabia. Um, apparently, if you have an internationally recognized driving license, maybe from one of the Gulf countries, Saudi, Qatar, UAE, when, and you've been driving for up to one year, if you come to Oman, the driving license will just be switched for the Omani driving license. They, they will just hand you the Omani driving license and you will pay without any additional fees. Okay, but my own driving license was not up to um, one year when I came to Oman. So I had to do the last step of the driving test um, in order to, to um, get my driving license. I failed it the first time. I mean, I've been driving for close my driving license is more than 10 years about 10 years and yet i failed the driving test you know man you know and so i had to take it again and then i passed that one that was how i got my driving license so getting a car is very easy there are many ways to finance your car there there is a national easy bank of finance there are many ways especially if you're working and all of that and you stay for three months you know and all of those things so once you go you can easily get a car and they will pay you just drop a down payment and get the car you want and pay slowly okay and it's just easy it's just easy to get a car you can easily switch the cars too but to get a driving license people have done it nine times 15 times and some of them <laughs> before they got um a driving license so it's a big deal here okay yeah okay next is that the people in oman drive well it stands to reason, considering how tough it is to get a driving license, nobody wants to lose their driving license just easily like that, okay? And so everybody drives well, and everybody you see driving most likely knows how to drive and has been screened and scrutinized. So you're likely to just find a reckless driver. If you get to a pedestrian walk with people just pass without having to be afraid, everybody, every driver here most likely has gone through thorough screening before they were giving that license so you can be sure that the, the person you're going to see driving on the road already knows how to drive and so you don't get to see people using their horns anyhow here in oman it's a very organized society and i, I think i enjoy driving here it's, it's really fun there's peace of mind driving here okay yeah now number eight is that they have a very efficient health system here i know many doctors are going to be watching this the human health system is very organized it's very efficient and it has very little tolerance for waste and so um there's an interconnection the communication channels are excellent and superb i mean if you're working in a health center you are you have direct link and contact with the tertiary hospital or the um the general hospital in your region and so you could Practically call a doctor on call in the big hospital to give you counseling as regards a case you're managing in a health center in real time and it happens. So it's just beautiful. Okay. Their health system is excellent. And I really think so many people have to come in and and understudy this and maybe adopt it in their own countries. Okay. Number nine is that most administrative positions in Oman are held by women while i was trying to come in i noticed that so many of the people that i was chatting with conversing with in the process of getting a job coming over we are women and then one would just think it's a coincidence when i arrived here at work my supervisors the mds big people most of the top positions are occupied by women so their women are thoroughly schooled they are educated they are smart they are exposed you know they are traveled i mean it was surprising considering some other places where women are repressed or men show patriarchy and all those suppressive 
attitudes towards women the opposite is the case here most administrative positions here are actually held by women they are in positions of power and things are working so <laughs> maybe it's time for some countries to begin to rethink what they are doing with men if your politics is not working think about women okay <laughs> or come to a man and find out how they are doing it and finally number 10 is religious tolerance okay religious tolerance there's a lot of you know people especially christians for instance are not under any attack here in oman okay they are not under attack here in oman you see um, there's freedom of worship however there are minimal restrictions of course with where you should do that how you should conduct yourself and locations where this should be happen of course there are government designated locations where you can hold your worships in for your religion and all of that so as long as you abide within the ambits of the law there is no imposition of maybe the islam religion on you and so you respect the religion of the country you re you respect their days and their times of worship and you do your own thing in your designated um, locations and your home and drive so if you're out there and you're wondering oh i'm a christian i'm a hindu i want to come to oman um are you sure i'm going to be accepted are you sure there's not going to be discrimination there's nothing like that at work no nobody really cares as long as you don't bring your religion to work so you keep it at home or in your place of worship and your home and drive okay so that's it for today on this episode of things you did not know about oman so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can continue to get this kind of information there are actually many more of them but i can't finish them this video is already too long i have to cut off some stuff okay and so <laughs> have a great day guys and see you in oman Meanwhile, as a doctor that you're trying to come to Oman, if you're a doctor thinking of coming to Oman, uh, we have channels, we have ways we can help you um, to uh, na na navigate the confusion that many other people experience. There's a no number to know this video. You could easily send a WhatsApp to and you'll be responded to and guided accordingly on how to get licensed, how to take the exams, the biometric and all of that. And okay, so see you on the other side. Bye-bye.